Manufacturing cost analysis is often seen as a daunting subject filled with complex jargon and intricate calculations. But let me assure you, understanding this critical aspect of cost accounting is not only essential, it can also be incredibly empowering. Imagine being able to dissect every dollar spent in your manufacturing process, identifying where you can save, and making informed decisions that lead to greater profitability. That's the power of manufacturing cost analysis. At its core, manufacturing cost analysis is about breaking down all the costs involved in producing goods. It's not just about knowing that you spent money, it's about understanding where that money went and why. This analysis serves as the backbone of cost accounting, providing the methodologies and tools needed to categorize and evaluate different types of costs. Whether you're a small business owner, a financial analyst, or a production manager, grasping these principles can help you identify areas for cost reduction, optimize resource allocation, and ultimately improve your bottom line. Now, let's dive into the manufacturing process itself. This refers to the operations and activities that convert raw materials into finished goods. It's a journey that encompasses everything from material procurement to production, assembly, quality control, and packaging. Each step incurs costs, and it's our job to identify, measure, and allocate these costs accurately to the products being manufactured. Understanding the manufacturing process is crucial for several reasons. First, it allows for accurate cost allocation. When you know each step involved in manufacturing, you can assign costs more precisely, which is vital for setting pricing strategies and understanding the profitability of your product lines. Second, it helps identify cost drivers, those key factors that significantly impact production costs. Once you know what drives your costs, you can develop targeted strategies to control or reduce them. Resource optimization is another critical benefit of understanding the manufacturing process. By knowing what goes into production, you can better allocate labor, materials, and machinery, leading to more efficient operations. This efficiency can significantly impact your cost per production unit, which is something every manufacturer should strive for. Furthermore, the insights gained from analyzing the manufacturing process feed directly into strategic decision making. Whether it's investing in new machinery, outsourcing certain activities, or even discontinuing a product line, these decisions can have long-term implications for your business's financial health. And let's not forget compliance and reporting. In some industries, understanding your cost structure isn't just good practice, it's a regulatory requirement. Accurate cost accounting ensures compliance with financial reporting standards and provides a transparent view of your operations to stakeholders. Now, let's break down the components of manufacturing costs. Typically, these costs can be classified into three distinct parts, direct materials, direct labor, and manufacturing overhead. Each element influences the total cost structure differently and requires a tailored approach for maximizing efficiency. Direct materials are the raw materials and components used directly in product manufacturing. Think of them as the tangible inputs that become part of the finished goods. For example, if you're making wooden furniture, wood, nails, and glue are your direct materials. Optimizing direct material costs can involve strategies like bulk purchasing to secure volume discounts, negotiating with suppliers for better pricing, and even material substitution where feasible. Then we have direct labor, which refers to the wages of workers directly involved in the manufacturing process. This includes everyone from those operating machinery to those assembling products, and performing quality checks. Managing labor costs effectively can involve investing in employee training to improve efficiency, automating repetitive tasks to reduce manual labor, and implementing performance incentives to motivate employees. Lastly, we arrive at manufacturing overhead, which encompasses all the indirect costs associated with producing a product that aren't directly traceable to a specific unit. This can include utilities, facility rent, and machinery depreciation. Understanding manufacturing overhead is crucial because it's often the most complex component to manage. Accurate overhead allocation is vital for several reasons. It affects product pricing. Incorrectly allocated overhead can lead to mispricing, which can harm profitability. It's also essential for profitability analysis, budgeting, and planning. Identifying and analyzing overhead costs can reveal opportunities for cost reduction, such as negotiating better utility rates or consolidating operations. Now, let's talk about the relationship between labor and manufacturing overhead. These two components are closely intertwined. Increasing the number of production workers might necessitate more supervisory staff or increase quality control measures, which would, in turn, increase your overhead. Therefore, it's crucial to regularly assess the efficiency of both labor and overhead to identify areas for cost reduction without compromising quality. While we're on the topic of cost, let's differentiate between variable and fixed costs. Variable costs change in direct proportion to production volume. For instance, the costs of direct materials and direct labor will increase as you produce more units. On the other hand, fixed costs remain constant regardless of production levels. Think rent for your manufacturing facility, 
or salaries for employees not directly involved in production. Understanding the nature of these costs is essential for effective cost management. It allows for better pricing strategies, budgeting, and forecasting. Knowing your variable costs helps you set a price that covers all expenses while ensuring profitability. Additionally, it aids in break-even analysis, which is crucial for understanding how many units you need to sell to cover your costs. Now, let's delve into cost variance analysis. This tool helps assess the differences between actual and budgeted costs in manufacturing. By identifying these variances, manufacturers can better understand their operational performance and make timely adjustments. The process involves collecting data, calculating variances, categorizing them as favorable or unfavorable, and analyzing the reasons behind these discrepancies. For example, if your actual cost of materials is higher than budgeted, it could indicate a need for renegotiating supplier contracts or adjusting your purchasing strategy. Similarly, if labor costs exceed expectation, it might be time to evaluate production processes for inefficiencies. Identifying product cost outliers is another critical exercise in manufacturing cost analysis. These outliers are products whose costs deviate significantly from the average or expected costs. By understanding these deviations, you can uncover inefficiencies and opportunities for cost reduction. Methods for identifying outliers can include statistical analysis, trend analysis, benchmarking, and cost component analysis. Once identified, it's essential to conduct a root cause analysis to uncover the factors contributing to these high or low costs. This could involve examining supply chain processes or assessing how your costs compare to similar products in the market. Now, let's talk about actionable strategies for reducing manufacturing costs. This can involve process optimization to eliminate inefficiencies, negotiating with suppliers for better pricing, investing in technology to automate labor-intensive tasks, or even redesigning products to use fewer or cheaper materials without compromising quality. But remember, when it comes to cost reduction, it's vital to maintain a long-term focus. Look for strategies that offer sustainable benefits rather than quick fixes that could compromise quality or customer satisfaction. Engage employees in these initiatives, as they often have valuable insights into operational inefficiencies. It implements systems for ongoing monitoring of product costs to ensure that reductions are sustainable. Let's wrap this up with a hypothetical example to illustrate the importance of manufacturing cost analysis. Imagine a company that manufactures wooden chairs. The direct materials cost is $50 per chair, direct labor is $30, and manufacturing overhead is $20,000 per month. With a monthly production of 500 chairs, the total actual cost would be $60,000 resulting in an unfavorable variance of $5,500 compared to the budgeted costs. By regularly performing such analyzes, companies can identify areas for improvement, optimize costs, and ultimately enhance profitability. It's not just about cutting costs, it's about making smarter, data-driven decisions that contribute to long-term business success. So, whether you're looking to optimize current operations or in the planning stages of setting up a manufacturing facility, remember that a solid understanding of manufacturing cost analysis is invaluable. It's a cornerstone for various business functions, from operational efficiency and budgetary control to strategic planning and decision making. By adopting a systematic approach to manufacturing cost analysis, you can better understand your cost structure and identify opportunities for sustainable growth. Thank you for joining me on this deep dive into manufacturing cost analysis. I hope the insights and strategies discussed will serve as valuable resources for your business endeavors.